you know some of the some of the melee better. greats out there. He plays yeah. with Kira a lot. He plays with Little Fumi. Mm -hmm. uh, I know he plays with Connor the Kid. Um, Connor the Kid's probably in chat right now. Actually, <laughs> I don't see Connor the Kid. I, I saw. I was looking at Nightbot and like what Nightbot has done because he gives us like a list of things that he's done in chat. Yeah, and it was uh, muted him. Muted Connor, Connor the Kid <laughs> at some point for doing something. I don't remember what it yeah, was. He was watching when me, when me and uh, me and Webs were playing in my basement the other day. Oh, okay. And he's like, I can't riot. Both Webs and Oro are playing. <laughs> There's no reason to be upset. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess I have to come over and ruin that for him. <laughs> There's a reason. Was Orm, what are you doing here? Go away. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to get going. Uh, Azu Sips has actually been a lot of good showing lately. He's gotten top five in Melee at our Wave Dash Wednesdays a couple times. Um, he always started uh, He started as a Game & Watch main in PM, though. Uh, he plays Spaces in PM and Melee, though, too. Yep. Uh, so if things go not well, he can... Wow. Wow, that was the pillar. Cap and face roll on the SoCal training right Yeah, now. right. We said he's going to come and he's going to just destroy us. Before he even left, and he's like, nah. And well, I, I think I was the only one who was on the face roll hype train. I was like, face I, roll. No, I agreed. I mean, all right, but let me, let me go into this. Um, I don't think this is a good stage for Game & Watch. No? No. You, oh. can't, you can't sweet spot without almost killing yourself. That's true. You have and to be perfect. You have to be, you have perfect. to be perfect, and that's really hard to do. Uh, also, I mean, this matchup's probably a lot better than it was in Melee. Uh, Game & Watch, you know, he can still escape with up B, but he's a lot safer doing so. Uh, frame 1 hitbox. Yep. Uh, uh, and you can double jump out of it, you, you can attack out of it. So he, he actually has options. Exactly. He, has, he has a shield. That's huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does have a shield. Uh, Game & Watch is just a lot better of a character than he was in Melee. That's true. I like, I like these combos from, from Azu Sips, though. I, I don't really get much out of down throw myself, so it's cool to see other you know, Game & Watches actually get something out of down throw. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times I feel like, uh, especially characters with good tech rolls like Spaces and Sheik, you have to uh, kind of just predict uh, and just go for a Dacus. True. Or, I mean, you know, read the tag in place or miss, miss tag. That's the only, only thing I use down throw for is actually just a Dacus or try and hopefully get a hit of Gatling. Uh, so, uh, sweet spot is basically oh, the strong no, no. part of an attack also. There was someone asking that. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so, every or a lot of attacks have a strong spot or a strong uh, sweet spot and a weak sour spot. Is usually just the terminology that people use. Yeah. Generally, uh, sour spot is weaker. Not always, though. Um, Dr. Mario in Melee, for example, the sour spot does more damage and more knockback than the initial hit. Right. I don't know why it's called sour. That's a good question, Kylie. I'm not the I'm not the terminology master or the terminology guy. I didn't make this up. <laughs> I take no responsibility for these. That's a pretty. Uh, however, that was a pretty wow. solid two stack from the cap face roller. Yeah. I think we might see a spacey switch out of Azusips. Maybe. I'm I'm feeling like in this version of the game at least, like I beat him. We did uh, Wednesday. We did Game and Watch Dittos. I beat mm -hmm. him, and he's immediately Fox. Just Fox instantly. Yeah. Not even Falco. Not even Falco. Okay. He, I think he just. I think. He, he knows Game & Watch well enough that he knew that he wasn't going to do much with Falco. Yeah. Because I, I I, mean, Fox is just better in this version, at least, I think. Than Falco? Yeah. Or just against Game & Watch? In, no, I just mean in general. I think you Fox think just is a lot better than Falco in this version. Of the Falco game. got less subs subsequent nerfs though than Fox did. Yeah, but at the same time, Falco isn't the same like in-your-face powerhouse that Fox is. Mm -hmm. That actually beats a lot of the PM-style characters. Yeah. I mean, there, there's like armor on who knows what stuff nonsense that goes through Fox, Falco lasers, and that's most of his options in neutral. Where Fox, whatever, I'm shooting a laser, I don't care. You're gonna go through <laughs> it regardless. So yeah, that's true. He has no, he has no uh, commitment to a laser. Right, right. So, that's my thought process at least. Okay, right, so yeah. he is switching to Fox. He's going to Fox. Yeah. I mean, this is also, you know, this is a good matchup for Fox and Melee. Yep. Uh, Fox is worse uh, than Melee, though. Basically straight up. Uh, and Sheik, questionable whether she's better or worse. She, yeah, she has enough changes that they're kind of both negative and positive. So. Yeah. She doesn't have guaranteed things out of down throw, but she never did against Fox and Melee. So the True. down throw, back throw mix up is actually probably kind of a buff in this matchup. Oh, that barely kills off the top platform. Yeah, 92%. Uh, Pal up smash will kill. <laughs> top platform only, though. Don't worry, guys. It's not that strong. Ooh, unfortunate trade. Ooh, good stuff from face roll. Nice, nice stuff from face roll. That yeah. was a really good conversion off the recovery. Really bad DI from Azusips as well. That too, yeah. <laughs> We'll not talk about that part. Oh, oh no. no. I don't know if that was a mistake or if he just didn't. 
I he, don't know. He just panicked when he was off stage. He, he wanted to air dodge or roll or something. He just wanted to get back to the center of the stage. Yeah, and once you're off stage, it's kind of hard to do that. Yeah. I think he thought he grabbed ledge, to be honest. That, that could be, yeah. Ooh. And Azu Sips is looking a little flustered around the ledge. Yeah, he's not really spacing how when... When we played each other last week, he was spacing really well. He was being really patient with his approaches. But he told me afterwards it was because he knows my character is slow. He knows Sheik is actually a fast character. Yeah. So maybe in that sense, he's a little more oh, inclined to go faster. You can see, uh, as you said, he's just messing up like all of his options to get to ledge. Like He's messing up the Shine Firefox. He's messing up Wave Dash back. Yeah, that's he's not just, what you want to be doing. Exactly. He just like looks like he's... Wow. That is huge, though. Now Zero to 66. Even game. Even, even in percent. Even in stacks. Good option from face. Ooh, nice reverse, reverse. Oh, and he gets the needle too. Oh Yo. no! Almost, almost. That would have been too hype. Yeah, he went for it all. I would have been reverse fair again. Oh my god! I'm actually getting hyped about Sheik combos. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Sheik is not that easy at a, at a high level play. No, she's so. not. No, I'm not. I'm not discrediting face yeah, at yeah. all. It's actually really impressive right now. So Ooh. Azusip's in a tough spot. He's got to get this stock as quickly as he can, and uh, it looks like Vaisal's yeah. already racking up the percent that he doesn't want. He's doing a great job, like, staying away at, like, safe ranges. Oh, nice. Uh, that, smash. that might be it. He's got to grab. No. Oh, a little too, too late. Flub from... He got the tech. Oh! He teched, baby, but didn't do... 